Do you feel angry all the time? Like a volcano is bubbling up within you, waiting to surface and burst out? You are not alone. Did you know that one in four adults worry about feeling angry all the time? That's one in four. Hello and welcome back to the Deep Dive series of the Being Miraculous podcast. And I'm your host and self-awareness coach, Shweta Shivraman, here to help you ask the right questions. Anger is a primal emotion that's a part of every human being. It is linked to our brain's fight-or-flight region. It is fundamental to our survival. However, in small doses and when it's within our control. But when we are constantly angry, it leads us to no good. When anger takes over and becomes uncontrollable, we build up too much negativity, cut ourselves off from our relationships, ruin our mental health and the mental peace of those around us. It's a highly charged up motion. If you've observed yourself closely, anger physically manifests as increased heart rate, the tension in your muscles, clenched teeth, tightness in the body, especially in the chest, and in some cases, even a terrible headache. It also manifests emotionally as increasing stress, anxiety, irritability, and brings up emotions of sadness, resentful, or even loneliness. Go back to a time when you were recently angry or lost your temper and ask yourself these three questions. One, what other emotions accompanies the anger? This is a great question to understand the triggers of your anger. Are you afraid? Are you feeling like a victim? Or are you feeling unheard and the anger is a call to attention? Are you feeling insecure or a lack of control? Or are you simply tired? Anger is usually a cover-up for deeper feelings. Understanding the accompanying emotion helps you understand the anger better. 2. Where is this anger coming from? Is it a rational response to present circumstances? Or is it coming from the memory of past events or trauma? We sometimes get triggered and pull out the weight of all unresolved issues which become explosive when seen from the present circumstance. Be mindful of where your anger is stemming from and if possible, resolve it before getting triggered again to reduce the impact. 3. How reasonable are my expectations? Personally, I have noticed I become angry when my expectations of what should have been the course of events failed to happen. Anger then is a reaction to failed expectations. But how reasonable are the expectations in the first place? If they are reasonable, break it down and communicate as to why you felt let down in the first place, either once the anger passes or if possible even before the anger surfaces. If they are not reasonable, realign your expectations to prevent getting angry. Deep dive on these aspects the next time you feel angry and find your answers within. If you'd like more one-on-one support with me as your coach, reach out to me for a 30-minute discovery session and let's explore if self-awareness coaching can help you find that emotional balance and thrive across life situations. Until we meet again, this is Shweta signing off, hoping you have a fabulous week ahead.